Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the Lucas Digne SBC, the guaranteed tots pack that was yesterday, and also looking ahead into today on Wednesday, talking about the community tots guaranteed, when that will be. Obviously, it has to be either today or tomorrow. I think there's decent arguments for both. Um, but I want to talk about what the yesterday EFL Tots guarantee, what EA was doing by putting that SBC out at the price point that they did, and also talking about this Digne left back card and how I think a lot of people are going to do this SBC, but also uh, why that is another very smart SBC from EA Sports as a coin drain right now at this time. But also we're going to talk about the market as well because I really feel like we're just in this stage where Right now, with we're getting closer and closer to Prem Team this season. Everybody is just ready. I think people are just ready for Prem Tots. It kind of feels like we're in sort of a an idle mode, if you will. Again, we're kind of just idling into Team of the Season. This this week is kind of just here, right? There's not a lot of insane, insane content. Yesterday's content was cool. It was good. Uh, but I feel like we're just kind of idly waiting. A lot of people are waiting to buy cards. A lot of people are waiting for price drops. A lot of people are just waiting to see what this team of the season prem has to offer. So we'll talk about that as well. But first of all, I want to talk about this SBC right here because there are plenty of market movements that happened yesterday. And I think there is potential here for a potential rebound on the substitute cards that were panic sold because of this Dina SBC. 251,000 coins at the moment with fodder at the prices that it is. Uh, this Digne with 90 pace, it's the first Tots Moments card as well. People were kind of a fan of this design uh, as I was reading some of the comments. But as you can see here with a thumbs up and thumbs down, I think there's a lot more thumbs down than thumbs up. Even though I still think a lot of people are going to do this SBC for the French links that he is, people are going to look at this card and say, hey, might be a decent center back. Now, I'm looking at some stats like the agility and the strength, and this is only out for basically until the start of Prem Tots. It's out until the first, so um, on Saturday, I believe, is when that'll expire. And that, to me, is just an SBC that you're going to see better cards coming out in the next couple weeks anyway, and there's already better cards in the game than this Digne, but it's a 90-paced French left back. Now, a lot of the panic selling was caused, of course, on other left backs, Today on this game, you had this Robertson Team of the Year nominee card go from like 313,000 coins down to 260. He's right now at 270. And the thing with this SBC is for this Digne, I feel like these cards could bounce back. Just like we've seen with the Premier League center back SBC that was dropped a couple, uh, you know, last week with the Ake card, which at least as I'm aware right now has not been updated yet, which is ridiculous because that should have been upgraded. Anyways, um, a lot of your Prem center backs are starting to bounce back. I think it's going to be the same thing with these um, Prem left backs, especially with Prem team of the season on the horizon. Even though we might get a left back Luke Shaw Tots card, maybe another one if they want to throw in. I don't know who else could be in Prem Tots as a left back, um, but I feel like these cards are not too bad of a buy. If you want to buy one for your team, if you want a Regulon, a Luke Shaw, a Van Anholt, or a Robertson like for your team, these prices are probably going to rebound back onto the weekend unless something crazy happens. Just watch them over the next couple of days um, because, again, this uh, Digne SBC is not out for very long. And once that Digne goes away, I do think you will see some people go out and you know buy some of those left backs back and uh, use them instead of this Digne because, of course, he will not be there anymore. So if you do want to make a play there, I kind of like Shaw the best out of those cards that have been panic sold. I know Robertson has got the 90 pace, um, but I, I think um, I just like the look of Shaw's card. I know this is a very rare item as well, but there's, you know, there's not a ton of Liverpool hype right now, in my opinion, for like links to Tots cards or whatever. So maybe try to snag one or two of these on a bid if you really want to. I like Regulon because uh, this is a card that's moved a lot up and down um, with just demand on this game. He's got the 92 pace. So of course that makes sense. I'm drawing the 177k right now. I mean, I have this guy in my team and he's pretty solid. So that is a card I think a lot of casuals might use because of that pace. And then of course the Luke Shaw in form, um, he's probably going to get a team of the season card, which is going to draw attention to his name, uh, which we're going to talk about in a video later uh, coming out soon on this channel that a lot of cards that get team of the seasons, um, their lower tier special cards do really, really well because it brings hype to that player uh, if they're meta and good in FIFA. And this card right here has got a lot of hype, right? 94K, this guy was like 110,000 coins. So he hasn't dropped off a ton, but it's still a very good looking card and a card that a lot of people will use 
to link their Prem special cards as they kind of run Prem teams this next week. So if you want to get involved with some of that panic selling, I don't mind it at all. I really don't. And then the next thing I want to talk about is this EFL TOTS guaranteed. And just again, talk about what EA is doing with this SBC. 15,000 coins in 82 rated squad. Basically, most of you guys watching this video were able to do that SBC with players in your club. Like if you've opened any of the 80 plus player picks, you probably could do an 80 to rated squad by the way 30 chemistry that's about as easy as it gets for an sbc with 30 chemistry so of course i've already done it so it's now showing up here under the completed section of the live tab for the efl tots guaranteed now i got the honey man uh it's an attack and mid guy right not a very good pack pull but still he's basically 15,000 coins i did it from the club so boom now i have an untradeable team of the season card in my club and that is the reason why ea sports dropped this SBC today. I really think they dropped this to basically supply everybody's club with team of the season cards. Now, of course, you're like, why would I do this if there's nothing good to pack? An 82 rated squad, they're giving you a reason to just say, well, you know, 15K, I really can't lose. Because if you look at the actual team of the season uh, EFL side, there's like the cheapest TOTS card is 14, 15,000 coins. So you literally can't lose on quote unquote value of the card. Uh, so that's why EA priced it where they did today. I really believe that's why they priced it where they did because now they can require team of the season cards for SBCs upcoming. And I do believe that either today or tomorrow, we're going to see that guaranteed community TOTS SBC. And uh, that is going to require a TOTS player. Now, in the past couple of years, I was just doing a little bit of research again. Last year in FIFA 20, it was an 85 rated squad with one TOTS player and 60 chem. And in FIFA 19, it was an 84 rated squad with one TOTS player, but 80 chemistry. So the chemistry definitely is higher on these in years past. Now, if I had to make a prediction this year, if, you know, if EA want to be real nice, I think they should go 84 rated with one TOTS player and like 50 chemistry. Lower the Keep the chemistry low like they did for EFL TOTS. And then, um, and then just require that one TOTS player. Because again, so many people now have team of season cards in their club. Uh, just from that SBC, or you know, you might have done one of the objective cards, so that you know you could have had a couple of cards in your club added from the Korea or from the objective. So I think all those things combined, people now have team of the season cards in their club, and that just allows EA to start uh, requiring them more for SBC. So what they do is they give you a TOTS card like that, and now... You know, with the 80 plus player picks that are out, they're going to drop that community tots guaranteed. And for a lot of people on FIFA, it's going to make that SBC seem a lot more achievable for them uh, since they already have that tots card. So kind of smart thing in there, I guess you could say by EA Sports. Now, also, we did have some road to the final movements. I'll, I'll take a quick second to talk about this. We have more Champions League coming today, PSG and City. But we've got Rafael Varane and Hazard, the only two cards on the market from the games yesterday. These guys are down, of course, because Real Madrid uh, it's, it's one to one on aggregate, but of course, as you guys know, they did give up the away goal. So technically they are quote unquote down. This Varane right now is chilling at 1.21 and he's probably going to go a bit lower, um, because it looks like there's still some cards here and it's late night. So we're probably going to get some more undercuts and listing. Same thing with Hazard as well. He is down a decent amount. Now, you know, could these cards come back up? Yes, there's potential, right? But of course the next leg isn't like tomorrow or anything. Hazard, what? What's going on with Hazard right now, man? 750. This guy was just 615. He bounced back up. Or 650. Sorry, he just bounced back up. But um, just keep an eye on those cards because, yes, they're probably going to fly under the radar with what's going on this weekend. But if you want to kind of keep an eye on those, I have a Gabriel Jesus um, card that is on my transfer list right now that I got for 520K. He's still chilling around like 540, right? So there's not a ton of hype with Road to the Finals right now. It's all about team of the season. So if you did trade with those today, GG's, there were some movements for sure in that game, but now they're kind of getting sold off post game. Um, and I think, you know, they're going to kind of fall in the back burner as we get into Prem Tots later on this week. Now today on Wednesday, what the heck are we going to have for content, right? Again, it feels like things are just kind of slow and quiet, not necessarily quiet, but just slow because we all know what is coming and that should be Prem team of the season. Now, of course, that has not technically been confirmed by EA Sports yet, because if we look over here, it says team of the season, 
uh, you know, it's not confirmed. It's to be announced over here. What are the next leagues that are upcoming? Uh, but it should be Prem, right? And if they did anything else other than Prem, it'd be a massive, massive L. So I think maybe not today on Wednesday, but potentially tomorrow on Thursday is when we should start to see some hints uh, about Premier League team of the season. And that, of course, makes me think a little bit that today on Wednesday, we could see back-to-back -back days where they release the guaranteed TOTS SPCs. I think they might release the guaranteed TOTS for community today because on Thursday, usually what you see is you have rewards, of course, but then for Thursday content, you do have a loading screen sometimes for that next TOTS league. And they kind of like switch the focus from what has just happened in the past few days onto the next or the upcoming Friday. So that's the only thing for me right now that I do think it's possible that we would get that Community Tots SBC today. Now, will that make fodder move on the market a little bit? Probably, you know, I mean, right now, SBC fodder is still, it's still low in total, but it is up a little bit, right? 86s or 18K, 85s or 11K. These, you know, they're up just a slight bit, right? They're up a slight bit, not much. We haven't had tradable pack supply um, because all the SBCs that we have, we have had were not untradable. I think the sorry ball is untradable. Um, by the way, Tots Purple Lightning Kit. I heard that that is like really, really purple. I haven't even looked at it. Um, and I'm not a big fan of the kit SBCs because they just kind of clutter up this whole SBC section and get annoying. Um, but I want to take a look at this kit because I heard it's actually kind of crazy. Tots Purple Lightning Kit. Wow, that is pretty purple. Anyways, um, I don't think we have had any tradable pack supply, right? No tradable pack supply. And we actually saw Team of the Season cards drop yesterday. Now, of course, we talked about how we might see some panic when, an e when a guaranteed pack comes out. There really wasn't much panic today. Uh, Aaron's is like 130 this morning. He's 126 now. Buendia is actually higher than what he was. This Tony card went from like 190 down to like 170 on Snipe, 180, and now is back up to 194. So apart from that card, we really didn't see too much movement today, but there were some community tots cards that have fallen off, right? Wambi Saka is back up now to 565. He was down at 535. Um, Valverde was 870. Alib is kind of low right now. So you might see some of these cards rise back up into the day if they were low and Cuckoo's 140. Barnes was 450. He's now 490. Uh, so these cards are continually fluctuating because people are trying them out and they're giving these cards a shot. Uh, now, of course, with less content being put out on the game, this is going to drive, since we're getting closer and closer to rewards, this is probably going to drive more people to think about investing for Thursday flips and investing in cards that will be linking to Premier League tots, right? So this Adama was 675,000 coins today. Atal is up. Kent is up. And this just might be some of the nighttime rarity, but it might be also some people actually going out on the market and buying up some of these Premier League out-of-pack special cards, expecting a rise this weekend, which is a rise that I 100% think will happen. But I myself, I really don't feel like I want to get involved yet. I think I'm going to be waiting a lot until actually Friday morning to be buying a lot of this panic sold stuff because I, I just don't want to get involved too early. So right now what I'm doing on the market is still, again, quick flipping. Um, I saw some middle eye or baby icon got I got pretty low today. Uh, I still have my Lams. I got a Salah at 910K. He was selling at 990 earlier. I bought a St. Maxman at 280. That still might not even be his lowest price. Uh, and then just a little quick update as well. I did, I flipped some cards really nicely from Saturday, sorry, from Sunday night into Monday. That's where these were from. Uh, we actually made a solid like four to five, 400K or so uh, from those flips. That was a really, really solid kind of like, you know, 12 to, to 24 ish hour period while I was technically on the day off um, from Sunday night into Monday. But those are kind of the trades there. And that's why I don't have a ton of coins right now. It's because I'm flipping uh, a lot of this stuff right here. But again, again, it feel, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but it's just kind of like we're all waiting for Prem Tots, or at least we're waiting for rewards because rewards on Thursday is going to be a time that'll shake up the market again. Now, could we see more? Uh, content today on Wednesday. Of course, I mentioned the team of the week that should probably come out, but that's going to fall behind. And just the only thing either we're going to have to watch for with team of the week is the SBC fodder informs that'll be out. That's kind of the only thing we have to watch for there. Of course, if you're grinding the 80 plus player picks, I'm probably going to set up uh, a set of these for the stream tomorrow because I want to give myself a chance at packing in Dombele or, you know, some of those cards they are only 6k a pop. So it's not, and we're going to Good SBC player content. It's just nothing that has really been super duper hype, right? Zapata, Chiesa, and Itzara weren't bad. Digne, eh. And of course, the attacker icon pack, which is really not good value. It's, it seems like, again, a lot of these SBCs, in the past, and especially the past two days, 
have been just put out there to kind of drain your coins and make you try to craft something with upgrade packs before we actually get to the big team of the season grind, which is going to be coming on Friday for Prem Tots. So that's kind of how it feels to me right now at this time. But again, EA yesterday was making a very, very calculated move by putting out that EFL Tots SBC. I honestly think that again, it's the whole conversation around Thursday is kind of turning towards the next promo. I could very well see the guaranteed community Tots being today or tomorrow. Now in years past, it has been a two day or like a one day in between. So like, you know, Tuesday, Thursday would be kind of how it would go this year based off of them doing Saturday, Monday in FIFA 19 and Monday, Wednesday in FIFA 20. So we'll see if they do back to back days. I think it's possible, but I also think they might wait until Thursday, which would make a very interesting day for Thursday for so it's community tots cards. We'll talk a lot about that stuff later in a video coming later today. It's actually a cheeky double upload day. So get ready for that one. But yeah, not a ton going on on the market. If you're still grinding the trades, good luck. Open bids are out there. There's still a lot of fluctuations as cards are rare on the market and all that sort of stuff. But we'll see what happens today on a Wednesday. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.